Mingo Pilardi is 31 years of age against Brian Boom Kelleher. All right, now for the intros. Here is Joe. Division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. His professional record stands at eight victories, two defeats, and one no contest. Pilardi! <laughs> Fighter standing five feet, six inches tall. He two weighed in officially 130. He fights out of Selden, New York. Here is Charge of the action is Chris Tonyani. So you hear a lot of fighters who have comp have to do that suffering, and Brian yeah. Kelleher talked a little bit about after four. Right, and that right. all goes out the window. Right. <laughs> this was a matchup that was initially slated as in white. Domingo Pilardi in blue. I love when Kelleher goes side of the octagon and then change off to the double. It was nasty. Yeah, that was Just nice. Like that thing. The difference. It takes a lifetime, man. And I you gotta drill, 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 drill. Start back, and at six foot, he can throw up some serious submissions Watch off his back. Exclusively getting ready for this matchup with Kelleher. Kelleher's working. Back in the head. Twenty. So an extended layoff ending for Pilardi. Didn't, but right. that that knockout really opened his eyes on Kelleher. But that's what altered his training. He knew he had yeah. been working towards a title shot, and that's that's something you we gotta have a sit down in there to just do it. Yep. Something has got to belt. It doesn't matter as long as it gets you out of bed. It makes you want to go bust your butt. Keeps control on the right side when Pilardi comes inside side and you can throw an elbow. Looks like some of these. You can tell high level grapplers, right? Kelleher never puts his hands on. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, that man. left hand found it. Pilardi. Well, Pilardi was elbowing him from the bottom. But Kelleher postures up, starting to open up a little bit. Ooh. And then he leads with his hips. He doesn't go shoulder and chest. Pilardi. Pilardi composed off his back, but Kelly right, seconds to go on the round. And for as good as you want to be half guard, you want to be side control, you want to be advancing. You don't want a job of recognizing that, but you're right, TC. It just takes one time where you get the aggressive with the ground and pound in this first round. He's just having a difficult time passing. A little axe kick there from. Oh! Man. Man. Nice strike. He's like, oh, no. uh, I'll go back down. <laughs> Pilarski won ground strikes have already landed for Brian Kelly. Oh, oh. To keep the head flat and then let the elbow slide down. Round one. Done. Up easy, guys. Up easy. Excuse me, guys. Come on. Domingo. Let's breathe. Let's breathe. Up and we can control the cage right off the bat, okay? We need to use our timing drill or we'll keep him confused. It's going to have a tough time getting to you there. we got to stay long, got to stay behind that jab. Uh, Back. You get your feet. Let's go. Let's go. Mr. Edson Barboza takes on kickboxing expert Higuchi Kadze on ESPN+. Plus. What a, I'll very, be here. Very good corner by the Pilardi corner to understanding of position. He understands that he has to rush to his back exactly where he doesn't want to be. Yeah, he can't just hang out down here in his garden. That's, he can't just accept this because Kelleher was hip to everything that he was trying to do from his back. You got to just be getting up. He needs to get his feet on the hips, start to try to create, jump on the, the guillotine forced him back to his back, so uh, long time. Take you down, get on top, and he'll sit in your guard and just punch you in the face. Closing the guard as opposed to trying to leverage a hip. Process, man, you don't just turn and get up and start to build to a hip. You start to go to a guard in order to get back to his feet. Yeah, so far, you're right, you see, just close guard and vicious ground and pound, but it's not gonna progress your position at all. And like you said, then pick a hip and go for it. Right, this is winning, and for a guy like Brian Keller, who's normally in, this is one where you go home and go back to work at, at getting ready to go back in there. And not just, and I would suggest to anyone totally dismissive of that. Now. Brian just winning. Brian, be careful with the fingers. Soft in 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 in, in the approach, but also soft in his voice. That's right. <laughs> I love that, John. Oh, like a submission of his own because it's going to force Pilardi to do something like that. Nice short sight. Is it too slippery? Oh, it's too slippery. It's... Oh, yeah. What's... Look at the difference in the approach. Though. Look at Keller. And back in the guillotine. Now it's tight. And he hunts it from everywhere. Every time. Look at Keller. Yeah, Pilardi has got to get to work now. This is a great opportunity. Yeah, Kelleher, but just control it, right? It wasn't Kelleher. Oh! 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 He didn't like that either. You saw Kelleher the grimace. Kelleher did not like that. 
you just start trying to hammer him, yeah, get some of those points back, get some damage back on your... Now that's not going to do it. That's there. not going to do it. You don't want to do this here. Entertaining round two. Kelleher with some strike. Last round coming up. And breathe. All right, let's breathe first. Breathe. All right, so I need you to listen. Down two. Bring in, buddy, okay? We're gonna, if he's going to hit that takedown, he's going to have to earn it. You got to give him some inside, okay? Up top when you're striking. In and out. Last round. Domingo. Round three is brought to you by P3, the official Lardy. 100%, let him know exactly what the situation is and work for it. Kelleher from being able to slam him too much. Wow, that was Lardy. Kelleher walked him all the way over to his corner, said, turn him here. Turn. He's got one hook in, but the fence is preventing him from getting that other knee through. Some shots that will open up those submissions. I think that's the mistake. I think he should have been. Or certainly not the type of fighter that's going to sit on a lead, as you guys know. You know, you know he's going to chase that finish, John. If he can finish his performance in the way that he's fighting right now, it, it's it's a that huge cut early on and was still able to fight 15 full. Kelleher. There you go. It's open. It's open. Real good job with his head positioning too. Every time Pilardi tried, body, body, not only are you breaking this posture, but there's... Yeah, I was surprised that Pilardi accepted being on his back and take open up more. And that means not closing these feet right here. This gets worse. It yeah. at least creates some sort of scramble. You're both sweaty. Yeah, for sure. Knee in the middle, knee in the middle. But part of the issue is Pilardi, it's hard to pass his guard. In there, Killer is not landed 180 strikes. Trying to stop the triangle. Watch your right arm, bro. Good body to go are, are not the useful. Left, left hand. Your back is or back. Your legs. Yeah, and, and scoot out. Well, we, and we, that's why we keep pushing their fighters to the side of the octagon. Yeah, because yeah. generally you use the guy who wants to get back up to his feet. This is a thank you for pushing me back to the fence. Yeah, we've been locked the whole time. Keep on squaring off like that. Yeah. Posture, posture, over with the legs. Right, her, and you 30, want to finish the fight? He can stack him here, right? Stan does not seem too urgent to try to get back up to his feet. Get the finish. 15 seconds. Non-stop pressure here. Domination for Brian Boom Kelleher tonight. All right, Brian Kelleher, Domingo Pilardi, go the distance. It is all the... The 20 UFC Hall of Fame induction ceremony. That is September 23rd. Plus, learn more right now at UFCFightWeek.com. 245 ground strikes, three takedowns secured. Should be a dominant seventh UFC win for... Well, fight fans, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards and all three... Boom! Kelleher!